Okay, hopefully you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to custom your test data and then you can use in your test script. The problem is, uh, the problem is um, in previous lesson, uh, we just use some data very simple here in the test script. But in the real application testing, we may have the more complex testing data and we cannot put all of the thing here. And the second thing that we need to reduce across our project. So let's create the test data. So I'm going to show you one of the, um, the way that I think is uh, more efficient. But you can do always uh, as long as that you, you think that it fit for your purpose, okay? Because we have a, a lot of way to construct test data. I'm not going to tell you that this is the, um, the only way. So under the short cost, uh, under the short directory here, you right click and then you create a new directory with the name test data. You can put any of the name, but I suggest you something like test data, like test follow, test script. So if you put hyphen here, try to uh, try to make it consistent with the test data and base test data with base script and test flow and all the directory here in your so under the test data, you will construct your directory same as your test script level. It will be easier for you to understand where, uh, where is the purpose for your test data. So under the test data, you create another directory with the name account. So that means you are going to create test data for account functionality. So the whole thing I'm going, uh, the whole thing that I said to you already that we call it the project functionality page structure. That means you base on your functionality and you put them. Uh, you have a uh, account uh, testing. You have uh, something like uh, deposit. You have something like uh, dashboard user or something like that. And you create directory. Uh, according to the test functionality uh, in your project. So under the test data account here, you are going to create uh, a file name with the uh, same with your test script name. Uh, and then you can understand uh, where is your test data for, right? Uh, if you create another name, it will be hard for you to understand that data for his test script. Um, but you can create some test data for common purpose, right? So in this case, let's create some test data for specific test script first. In this game, go into create test case 006, uh, locking uh, with common flow, enter. So you can see that this test data for the test script, it will be easier for you. So we are going to declare a constant, uh, for example, say invalid uh, credential. Uh, let me stand for crest at here. And inside, we define a email property with the name TOA, TO, TEO, and the password is uh, Dot, dot, dot. And we need to use in all the places. So let's export it. The way we export that, um, we use the keyword uh, export dot the name. In this case, I'm going to export the same name here, invalid credential equal invalid credential. That means I'm going to export uh, an object with the name invalid credential and I reference to this object, right? So let's try to import in the test script and use it. So in this case, I'm going to replace the value here. Let's try to delete. So let's import the, for example, the test data from dot 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 
Okay, so we'll sit here. And for the email, I view yes, the text data here dot invalid credential dot email, right? And for the password, I'm going to do the same that text data dot invalid credential and then dot password. You see? And here I can copy and paste here. So problem, you see, is very long. And I don't want to see something like that. Let me share you another technique because the restructure in JavaScript are not clear. So I'm going to restructure something from the object that is text data, right? Here, go into destructure the invalid credential from text data. And then I'm going to restructure the email and password from the invalid credential. You see, I destructed, I, I, I apply the destructure on the text data to get the object in values out. And then I destructure again to get the email and password property from invalid credential. So when you, you look at your text data again, when I destructure and get the invalid credential, this will refer here. And then I destructure again, that means I can accept the property here. So now I'm going to use the email value here and the password value here. And it is shorter, right? Now you connect your device and you start IBM server. And because we, we did create any new test script, so try to run the, the, the old test script in the test configuration file by running the, the command npm test and the test configuration file. Here, enter. Uh, let me open the Visual app and then you can see how the application works. But technically, it should work here. See, you can uh, address the data from the text data file. So let's summary first because we're going forward for the next step. So uh, you need to create a text data directory under the source. And then you have the same structure with the text script here and then it's the same name for your text data like the text script. And in that way, you can uh, understand this text data for which text script easily. And then second step here, you create a JS, a JavaScript file, and you declare your testing data by constant value, and you ask for something like invalid credential equal invalid credential, right? So you can specify this by another name, it doesn't matter. But when you apply the structure here, you see, that's mean you're going to destructure the object that you are going to refer. So let's try to um, do one more step that try to uh, rename this something like the login data, right? And then we go back here. So that means in this case, I'm going to give the login data now it will be sent for text data. And then from text data, I will restructure. So this view be the same like before, but try to run again to make sure that the, the functions still work properly. So um, I'm a per, I, I, I am at home, so sorry the noise is around from the family member, but I think it's fine, right? Oh, uh, we got something like a lot of functions. Here, we have something cannot destructure property email or, uh, of invalid credential because it is undefined. Uh, it's undefined. So why is it undefined here? So test data, oh, I see. That's the problem here. So if you want to do something like that, you destructure here, like the login data, you see? And 
that means we can get here. That means I destruct the lock the login data here, object here, and I view import it here. Now we can destructure again. Try to run. Hmm. Why that's happen? Oh, should be something like test data on test data dot login data. This login data will refer to here. So, oh, I see. I see. We should have something like this. Email password because the text data now login text data will refer to here. This is not this is not referring to the login data here. It's not like before, right? So let's run again. Okay, so you see, we can export any name, like we can have login data or we can have invalid credential, but you make sure that um, here, when you import and then you assess the, the name that you export in your test data. So in this case, you import the whole test data file here under the name test data, but you need to assess the export, uh, the export test uh, object here in this case is login data. So you dot 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 login data, and then it will refer to invalid credential this object, and then you restructure the email and password property here. So, for example, if you have a uh, lots of uh, you know um, data inside the tech data party. For example, let's create something new here. We have the invalid and of course we have something like valid credential with another name, something here. And you don't want to do something like export and you find another name to to specify for, for this export object. So you can do another way that you can export export does login data equal something like in valid credential and valid credential. So here in your test script, you import the whole test data here and then you accept the login data, this one, the login data. And then you want to accept one of them, one of the test data. So in this case, I'm, go, I'm going to to this structure for the invalid credential. And I view you the this structure again for the invalid credential here with the value email and the password here. Right? So we can have a lot of data inside the party here and we don't need to keep typing as box and we find another name for them, right? So we can use the same technique here to destructure the value. I'll run again to make sure it's work properly. Yeah. We can get the data out. So try to uh, keep practicing and keep learning and try to practice with the test data because in upcoming lesson, we are not going to uh, put some static 
data inside the test script, but we are going to specify some test data in the JavaScript file uh, like this, right? So see you in the next lesson.